Welcome to my video on ACL reconstruction using patellar tendon autograft. The stump of the torn ACL is visible in the center of the screen. The first step in the reconstruction after harvesting and preparation of the graft is to remove the torn remnants of the injured ACL. It is easily removed from the notch with a motorized shaver. It is important to remove all of the tissue to prevent future loss of motion. After removing the soft tissue from that area, a burr is introduced to complete a notchplasty. A notchplasty is done by removing some of the side and top walls of the inner condylar notch to allow room for the new ACL graft. The burr is used all the way to the back wall to allow proper placement of the tunnels. A special guide is inserted into the knee and a guide wire is drilled through the tibia into the knee at the site of the previous ACL attachment. A second drill is then passed over the guide wire to create a large 10 millimeter hole. That hole is then cleaned and prepared so a femoral guide can be hooked over the back of the femoral condyle and a guide wire is then drilled through the femur and out the side of the thigh. This is over drilled to create a second hole with a guide wire in place. The guide wire is pulled through the knee bringing sutures with it. The ACL graft is passed through the tibia and into the femoral tunnel. Once it is in proper position the rigid fix system will be used to lock the graft into the femur. The knee is then taken through a full range of motion. The graft is secured on the tibial side with the screw the stability of the knee is checked, the patellar defect is bone grafted, the wounds are closed, and the long rehab process can begin.